Hey folks, Eric Woldrich here of the Additive Guru channel. And in this little episode, we are going to take a look at uh, using in topology and some lattice structural tricks to turn this uh, bar of soap hanger kit here into something that's a solid lattice, or is a lattice and a solid feature as well. Now if you want to, you can check out one of our other videos that actually shows the modeling of this part. But uh, and, and catch up at that point in time. But it's nothing really special. Just a simple little kind of hanger system that we made extra solid to make it latticeable. We also made sure that we, we created two separate bodies, that this is a separate body from this one, so that we have the ability to STL out in two different uh, shapes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I expand my bodies here and I'm going to uh, STL this as one STL file and this one as the second one. To do that, I simply right click on body one here and say save as STL. So save as STL, make sure it's selected. Of course it is, hit okay. And it puts it in a folder I've called soap bar holder and I'll call it uh, main body one. And then I right click on the other one, save as STL, and say, might need to check something. I just realized that I may have too much of a body feature there. Let's see what happened. I turn that off. Yep, I've made a mistake in this before I do it. I don't need all of that body, so I need to do a quick edit. So let's hit cancel and let's go back and edit that body. Make sure it's not selecting more than I need, and it looks like it is. So unselect that. Just do that. Let's extrude this. No. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a quick edit there because I don't want that whole body to be latticed. So let me take care of that. All right, there we go. Essentially what I just had to be real careful in my selection process to make sure that I only selected the, I didn't hit the zone and, and I basically had to zoom in to make sure that happened. So now, it should just be that feature. There we go. All right, so we're good. Carrying on, right click on this one, say save as STL. Hit OK. And this is going to be hanger one. Okay, so now we have our two files STL'd out. And so now it's time to open up our lattice structuring software and go from there. All right, for this demonstration, I'll be using uh, in topology element. Uh, you don't have to use only this software. There's other softwares that can do it too, but I just have to go get our file. All right, open up soap bar holder. There it is, and I'm just going to drag both hanger and main body into the space. It's going to say what unit size we want. We want millimeters. Okay, and okay. So there we go. So there are now two STL files in here that you can see. And of course, our objective is to lattice one and not the other, the other one solid. So I'll just not worry about the hanger and turn visibility off with just a quick right click and say visible or V on the keyboard. And then the rest of it is now time to do some latticing. So hit the last tool, select it. And actually, I like the Veronoi, so I'm going to choose the Sarcastic, select it, Veronoi, generate. Let's see what we get here. All right, it's not pretty, not too bad. Kind of unique. I'm going to say that I want it a little bit tighter than that, though. Uh, maybe I'll size this down to maybe eight and generate. That yeah, looks cooler, and it'll give us plenty of uh, material to work with. So I uh, will say OK, and I will uh, have a look at it here. I don't see any major issues right off the bat. One of the trade-offs, though, with the direction that I'm going to print this on is that the bigger the target cell, especially with the Veronoi, the more chances you can get a little bit of a droop. So I may actually go back and... Yeah, I may delete that one. Let's try that again. Let's go main body lattice. And let's try a generation about six. A 
The smaller the lattice structure, the less you have to really worry about overhangs and printing. Of course, it does get a little bit dense there too. So that may be a catcher. So it doesn't look too bad. Looks like probably could be okay with that. And hit that. And let's go ahead and do a thicken. And target diameter, we're going to go for about 2.8. And you may look at that and say, you know what, that's just a little bit too thick. Uh, I don't know, how, you know, I can probably have a little bit more overhang than that. And if that's the case, that's no problem. We'll just hit cancel, go delete this lattice back out, and then do another lattice structure, selecting the main body, and then we'll set it to, we'll say seven. Generating. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Again, knowing that I'm printing in this direction, it's my game plan. Um, one area I know I'm going to have a problem with is that I'm seeing a lot of unsupported stuff in that area. But I can probably handle that with the software itself. Um, another way I could just actually change the way that I do print this and be okay. But um, I think I can probably deal with that in the software side of the art. Okay, so let's do another thicken. There we go. And target diameter 2.8. That looks pretty interesting. Yeah, that's that's something to work with. Say so, okay. Now the next catch, of course, is the fact that I have a lattice, but I also have this other body out there that is part of the design, but needs to be solid and unlatticed. So to do that, I need to actually find a way to kind of combine these two things together. All right. Now, so to uh, do this, to make sure they actually become one unit, our first step is to do a Boolean union to make sure that these two bodies exist together. Now, although I have the wrong thing, let me turn that back off. We don't want that. We want the thickened lattice. There we go. That makes more sense. So anyway, you can also see how like one object overlaps the other one, which is good. We want that that interaction between the lattice and the solid object to work correctly. So anyway, I go to my interchange, I'm uh, sorry, uh, utility, and go to Boolean, select the actual hanger piece as our target object, select the lattice as the tool, and then of course minimum feature size, that's fine. We have to choose our union as our option for our operations there and say Boolean. They run through its process, All right, and as by doing that, hit OK, and now we have a Boolean item right here that is a solid feature. The last step, of course, is to turn it into a mesh, which I just say interchange mesh, select the Boolean, and say generate. All right, and hit OK. And so now I have a mesh that I can now right click on and export as some type of object or STL file. Uh, either one works just fine. And I've already named it test obj underscore one and hit save and I have a mesh. So that's the process for combining these two together and getting our structure. I've gone ahead and loaded it up in Simplify 3D just to do a quick check to make sure that in fact it meshed correctly and also that it union into correctly. So for example, I've already got it in the animation stage or the execution stage. And you can see that the lattice structure is part of the outside perimeter line, which lets you know that it is correctly union together. If it wasn't, what you would see here are like weird little holes are wrapped around it where it's trying to print the solid feature in between the lattice structure. And we don't want that. That creates a whole lot of problems. We want a nice continuous perimeter line where it, it fully knows that these are fully one object and it's not trying to print around. So if you see, do see weird little gaps and those kind of things, you, you've probably done something wrong in your combining of the two uh, structures. So anyway, that's the uh, tutorial on doing that. 
Again, we've used uh, in topology element, but it's not the only lattice structure software out there that you can try this out. And they also have newer versions too that you can check it out with. But the key thing is that you're having a solid and you're having a uh, lattice structure. They're gonna exist in the same space. And you want to correctly combine them so that you get a solid feature and you can work with dimensional accuracy around that solid feature and then let the lattice just sort of do its job in terms of whatever you're after. Okay? So hopefully you found that pretty useful. Make sure you take advantage of that, make you some cool stuff. And uh, check out some of our other videos and social media applications. Uh, we do a lot on additive manufacturing and subscribe to our channel. We're always posting out new useful things, all things additive. All right? Thanks for your time. We'll see you.